Hello, everybody, and welcome to round five of the Risk World Championships. This is the quarterfinals. We are here with 75 points on the Risk scoreboard for the championships. Oh, boy, this is insane how, how this whole tournament has been going. I, I cannot believe it myself. Anyways, I want to check out our points right here. As you can see, without even playing round five, I'm still first. As always, I've been first throughout the whole tournament in points throughout the, every single round. Just one above Funtun. He's already played his round five still as well, as you can see. Anyways, our group is group five here. We're playing with JJ Broad, General Bali, Lena Kitty, Nice, Free Through Christ, Bertram the Vork, 23. So if I win this game, I most likely knock out probably half the lobby so anyways uh first in the lineup is lena kitty with thirty thousand seven hundred sixty. she is a top grandmaster one of the best very good made it to a lot of finals in the past recently at least oh my goodness we got niece nose top grandmaster vip 45 000. he is top 10 on the world leaderboard for ranked ffa oh my goodness we got freed through christ thirty two thousand grandmaster really good he I actually watched him in one game against Pete. I haven't. That's the only game I've ever ever seen him play in, and he he won the game with with him, Pete, and Hot Buns. So he is going to be a challenge. I don't know how it's going to be, but I'm excited. We got General Bali, General Bale. Sorry, uh, world one v one world champion. Uh, one of the best one v one players I've ever played against. He has swept me in a one v one round. So. This guy is nothing to mess with. I do not want him in the 1v1, for sure. He would be a huge challenge. Then we got Bertram the Boar, 23. Master, 20,000. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. A lot of games played. All right. Uh, thank you, guys. Here we go. Let's get started. Right. Here we go. All right. There we go. All right. Right off the bat, we are fourth in the lineup. All right. Um, any good lines for a bonus? Maybe bottom. Um, we got threes lined up next to here, but I uh, we got a three and a two. Three and a two in the plus four. We're going for plus four. Good. Unless red contests. He doesn't see my two in the bottom, but he sees my three. Ring could also contest me, but he sees... Hopefully... I think he's going to the left because he has a two in here. No. Hmm. Leaves his two there. I'm going to add everything in that bonus and contest red for sure. Yeah. We're contesting red. We're not in the bottom right. That's not good. We're going to need to move our way towards that way after we get a bonus as soon as possible. There must be something inside here, but I'm, I'm contesting red for that bonus for sure. Yep. All right. Another big thing about this lobby here is that I have 75 points and the next, or the next highest person has about 59 so, or 58. So like if I play it right, I could knock out every single person in this lobby out. Or at least have them all around 60 or less. But I'd have to kill them all in order. That would be very, very disgusting, of course. Because only top 36 move it to the next round in the semifinals. So, right now we're in the top 72 in the World Championships. And after this game, we'll be top 36. We're going to make an obvious play for this bonus after... And I think green's making an obvious play for this one. Because thanks, white sees, they see, they're moving out. So green's going here, white's going here. This is an obvious play to go for this. I want to move this stuff up, not 
don't need to do it right now. Loses one. I don't think he sees or he. Thanks. <laughs> All right. Well, we could fortify that. Save that too. Oh, yes. Red is not giving me any communication. I did lose a one attacking on the first turn, which I mean, it is what it is, but I want to get my three up and Lena Kitty adds a one up there. She really wants that position. She's going for this. Well played. Red is fricked unless he gets a bonus. Because the way he's looking, he's not really getting anything. He's like all over the place. General Bale, I'm not really sure. Oh, I see why. Well played, General Bale. Hopefully, Red can move through up, go up through there, and if not, he'll just combine them and try to get a card out of it. He's got a stack down here as well, fortifying it back. All right. Hmm. Adds everything inside. Looks like he's contesting me. Yep, I'm being contested. Cool. He's contesting me. I can't do anything about it either. I need to hide. Uh, I have I have a top right position. That's good. But it doesn't look like he's moving out anytime soon. So we're going to try to get his car, uh, cards out of top left off of red. Since he's not going to move out. He is contesting me. Cool. Great. So me red is going to lose. Got it. Hopefully get a card with my three in the top left. I don't want Lenny Kitty taking that one. That territory is important. He's going to hit the three. Lose five. Lose five. Uh, only loses one. Good for her. She's going to take it now. Yep. And loses nothing. Played. Gets it. General Bale's going for a second a second bonus. Yep. He's taking a second. Oh my gosh. No shot. He adds everything there. Continues to contest me. All right, so me and Red don't win. We we both lose. Yeah, good game. <laughs> you you you're not moving out, so we're both gonna lose. Because the reason why I'm saying that is because, uh, especially with General Bale holding, I'll break Bale if he takes it. I will. I'll break him. But like 
what I'm trying to say is uh, we got green with a bonus, white with a bonus, orange with a bonus, and pink. And me and Red are the only two with not without one. And he continues to stay in there. Stay in there. So Bale's about to remove me from here. Unless Bale's keeping me there, that's smart. That's really smart because I don't have a bonus yet. All right. Oh no. That is unfortunate. If Bale removes me, I, I break his bonus. It's as simple as that. I'm losing all my exteriors too. Especially if green or orange removes me from top right, I'm dead. I lose. I need a position out there. And I don't have bottom right, so we don't know what's going on over there. Bale's probably if if I'm in Bale's position, I take that bonus in the bottom. Because it, it's a good it's a good position to have. If he removes me, I'm I'm pretty much dead. Man, you know, if he he wouldn't have added to that top right position if it wasn't for my fail on 3v1. Oh no. Is he moving out? Yes, we get the bonus. No. Yeah, I I think free through Christ and me or not, we're done. We don't we don't win this game. Yeah, unless it's fed to us. There's no way. Well, there it is, guys. Unfortunately, we can't win this one. Unless it's fed. Because he he's gonna he's gonna stand his ground. I'm gonna move one more up and put everything there again. I gotta fight for it, you know. You can't just sit here. I'm gonna fight for it. Go one up and aim at him. The longer I do this, the more the more likely my uh, troops get. I lose them. So. I'm going to aim at him again. He has not communicated, did not emote once in this game. He can, he can leave the bonus. He can. He's choosing not to. All right. And if, if there's one thing you should know in this game, if you do not, he only has one thing. He only has 51 points. In order to move on, he needs to get at least 10. And in his position, he should not be contesting me, the one with the most points at all. He will not move on. So there's there's no reason to contest me. If you're going to contest anyone, it's going to be uh, someone who has like points as, as you. The reason why I'm saying this is because... Because if, if, you, if you contest me and I just straight up suicide you you're done right like you're not moving on to the next round but if you contest someone else you're both like i'm still moving on so it doesn't matter what i do oh don't do it yeah oh boy yeah bail him oh jeez bail bail removing positions of mine is not good that's the problem i needed this bonus so i could add more troops to other positions and now i don't have those positions and I bet you 10 bucks Lena will will remove that as well. We got a card skip on our hands. Free free through Christ card skipped. We all lose at this point. I might do a little slow roll on him.
Oh my gosh, Lena's getting eight. She's got 12 territories. Yeah. They, she probably has 40 troops by now. You can see the deficits getting larger and larger every turn. I slow rolled free through Christ to give him a warning. Uh, Green also took a card. I did not. That is interesting. I didn't see that. All right. Still waiting on him to leave. Lena did not take a card. I like that. It's better that she doesn't in my position. Because if she's a card ahead, she could kill me. Being a card behind gives me advantage. The only disadvantage I have is from green and white. Green and white are my disadvantages right now. And if Bale takes a card, he is also gives he has an advantage over me. Especially when he knows everything I have. Basically, he sees everything. So he could kill me on this turn or next if he wanted to. He's taking a card. No, he didn't. He didn't take one. Bale, Bale skipped. I slow rolled red there. Takes a card. Moves out. There we go. Thank you. We got our bonus unless someone stops me. But I'm still in a very bad spot now. I want to keep this even though uh, he sees me. I do want to get away from Bale as soon as possible. Bale has seen most of my territories and sees my stack. Yep. Bale has a lot of access points to me. I've been wanting to punish Bale, but I can't. And if that three gets removed, I'm basically dead. If that three gets removed, oh boy. Don't remove, don't hit me. Good. Okay, good. He hits my... Aim it all at him. If I get broken, I turn my stack right into that other person. Lena would be the one to do it. If anyone did it. And it seems like I might be okay. Green has already set in. It's good that I got a bonus. I needed it. Uh... I might need to get into Mexico. There, There is no way for me to be safe here. The only way is Bale doesn't see my stack. And I hope that I make it big enough that he can't kill me. But he has a huge advantage. I'm going to need to set most of the time here in the scary situations. Lena could have just saw uh, Red move up as well. Red's also in a very tough spot. Only way I win this game is I get fed to me by green failing. That's it. Only way. Green fails, hands me the game. That's it. I don't have access down here, and I don't have access in Mexico. It's very bad for me. Very, very bad. Red's got to be here, here, and here. That's all he's got. You got white. That's right, 10 now. I 
I need to move up. Uh, no, I I don't want to, but I need to get up here somehow. Um, if if his stack wouldn't be there, I would. If I get into the later sets, I'm gonna have to hit it. I made it. Let's go. I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna move a stack down. Alina Kitty. I'm gonna move my stack down to Lena because I don't trust her at all. We're gonna leave three, eight, eight, I want to move. I'll just keep adding to the six because I I want to keep the seven in the top as much as I you know. I need to keep that seven there. But I finally got a bonus. But it's already been, we're already like so many rounds into the game that it's not going to matter after this. Very, very bad. Our, the best point we have is that Orange can't see all of us. Is, she has very good lines on me, but she would fail the kill. I want the 7 there because I want it to go that way. But the 16 is already here, so I might... I have the 3 down here, so there's no point. This 8 goes this way, but I have... This is this 6 is the only thing that goes to the right and down. But Lena's going to have a giant stack on Dominican Republic. It makes sense. Best spot to put her stack. That on three if I need it. I want to put a lot more troops down in the bottom. Next to General Bale's 12. So that he has no chance of killing me. Because this 37 is wide open. But that 8 in the bottom is not open to me. If I put more troops down there. He can't kill me without a set. I think I will set on four though. For sure. No doubt. Okay, four sets in early. Four sets on four. Giving him the 20? He did not need to do that. At all. He could have waited until five. But, regardless, I'm getting the bigger set from four anyway. Because he has, he'll end his turn four and I'm waiting until five. This is actually kind of good for me, in a way. Because, yeah. I gotta put most of my troops down here on the 8. Take a card with my 3. Maybe I move my 16 up. Put everything in here, move my 16 up. Yeah. Kind of block some stuff up there too. I'll set on four, put like almost all of my troops here. So that Bale cannot kill me. That is my main concern, making sure Bale cannot kill me. The only, the only bad thing is that people are probably going to go after me and fail. I'm going to get failed kills on me and then, uh, yeah. So. No one, no one saw me add and attack. So that's the best thing about that. No one saw me add and attack. Bale can kill me right here. He has my bounty. It is uh, probably not worth it, but you know. He's not going for it because he's got both here. I'm safe. He's going to see my seven. But I'm setting in. It's obvious that he's targeting me. Obvious. 
And with him going towards that, people are going to notice, hey, look after black. Now Boar has a notice on me. He wants if he wants to see it. And white also sees that. Red sets in. Card skips. Holy frick. Oh my gosh. I think white's going for me. He is going to fail. Yep. He's looking for me. Yeah, he is. He thinks he has. He's failed. You don't got it, bro. Yep. <laughs> and he went through bail. Oh, let's see if let's see if Boar can find me. I'm basically dead. I knew this would happen, so. See if Boar can find me. <laughs> Bale's not happy. He's like, ah, oh, you went through me, man. Why you gotta do that? That was my bounty. <laughs> That's what he's thinking. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I don't think ba I don't think Boar has a chance here unless he's got a giant stack laying around. He's going. He's going places though. Attacking a lot. And I have the Joker. Ooh. Ooh, that's huge. The only disadvantage I have here is... Uh, Lena could kill me. You could kill me. She ends her... If she moves that stack back to me, can't kill her. I think, I think uh, Lena's going for Bale. Bale's in the top right. Bale's in the top right. He, she gets it. He's got to kill Boar next. Well played. That's worth 35 when she did it. Or 45. 40 when she did it, actually. Now 45. Well played. I don't know if I can take a card. Um, I will. I will, though. I will take a card, though. <sighs> Look at that. Free Through Christ makes it to the, net, the fifth position. Does Lena get bored? I think she might. I think she might get him. Yeah, well played, yep. The only person I can go after is Nice, the one who tried to kill me. Yep, she gets two bounties now. The best thing she could do is place it so she can kill me next turn. Or Nice. That's unfortunate for Bale. He was in a very good position. Lost that one for sure. Best thing I could do is take a card and, and set on three. Doesn't kill Nice. Good. Good, good, good. I could try to kill Nice. That's my only chance in terms of how to uh, move on. If, if Nice does nothing here, Lena Kennedy wins. If Nice does nothing, it's game. He's going to attack a bunch. Nope. I'm going to go up one and to the right one, I think. That is the game plan. And I've opened it. Well, I got to hope she doesn't get me. 
It's 16 troops. That's quite a lot. I got a set. I have a set. He's mad. Does she have him? If she has him, it's game. I think she sweeps. Yep, she sweeps. It was fed on my kill. There we go, we get third. We do not get... <laughs> that game was easy for her, absolutely easy. And look at that, free through Christ gets second because of all this nonsense. Absolutely fed to her, yep. The right play was killing me first because I had a set anyway. Yep, absolutely fed. All right, anyways, that would put me at 73 points as I get eight in this round. That is the least I've gotten all of the tournament. But what can you do when it's fed? You were the one who went, they went for and they failed. So I could have set on three. That is the only thing I could have done for myself to prevent that bounty on me or that, tr uh, or that kill line on me. But I would have been weak for the next sets. So I probably would have died next in the next sets anyway. So, I mean, it was a risk. I probably could have wait, uh, set it on three. That was the only way I could have prevented that. But what can you do? Lena Kitty sweeps, getting 22 points. Absolutely. There was nothing stopping that happening unless she failed to kill on peace. So, there we go. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, this was round five of the Risk World Championships. We're moving on to the semifinals with 83 points. Ooh, and a strong lead. Lena did not pass us after this game because I'm already so far ahead. She is so far behind, but she is going to the semifinals. In order to move to the finals past this point, I have to win the next game. And it's 70% Rivertown advanced. Have to win to move to the finals. Points no longer matter anymore. So, I hope you guys enjoy this video. See you guys later. Peace.